What is up YouTube? Mike here and I sold my Surface Book and got a Surface Pro 4. Let's find out why. Update. All right, so the Microsoft Surface Book, it was actually recently named the laptop of the year. And I think it was at the big IGN conference, which is kind of like the Oscars of the tech world. So it's kind of a big deal. But <clears throat> I did, in fact, sell mine. Uh, I actually sold it on Craigslist. But the reason I sold it is not because there was anything wrong with the product. I just really like the Surface Pro for form factor. Now, with the Surface Book, as you know, you can use it as a tablet. You can detach the screen. I've done a review on it. Feel free to check that one out. But you can detach the screen of the Surface Book and actually use it as a tablet, but it's not very practical because really the battery on that will only last you two to three hours depending on what you're doing. And it's just, it seemed kind of unwieldy. But with the Surface Pro 4, like I said, I've got the type cover. You can detach it. And I just, I like the form factor. It just feels better in the hand to me. It's a better size and it just, um, the battery life. Obviously, the Surface Book battery life, I could probably get eight to 10 hours. But with this, you're gonna only, only get about six to eight, but if there's no difference when I disconnect this. So if I wanna use it as a tablet, I've got the full six to eight hours of battery, depending on what I'm doing, which is one of the reasons I wanted to get rid of the Surface Book and go to this. <clears throat> the other reason also um, was price. Obviously, the Surface Book is priced uh, more than the Surface Pro 4, even when you add in the type cover. But I went ahead and with this, I got the i7 model with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the 256 gigabytes of storage. Um, highly recommend it so far. I'm loving the i7 and the 16 gigs of RAM. The Surface Book that I had was only the i5 model, and I can definitely tell a pretty big performance difference. For instance, with this, I can actually use Adobe Premiere Pro and edit 4K video. It'll stutter sometimes, but for the most part, um, it's fairly smooth. It's, it's, it's usable, I guess is the better word. It's not perfect, but it's doable and it's a lot better than it was on the Surface Book. But like I said, the Surface Book though, it's a great laptop. I highly recommend it, but me personally, I just wanted uh, more portability because the Surface Book is larger, it is heavier, and it's just not as uh, compact. Now, again, this is meant to be more of a tablet that acts as a laptop, whereas the Surface Book is a laptop. It's a purpose-built laptop that you can use as a tablet if you have to. So that's kind of the difference. So I'm not saying one's better than the other, but that's just why I switched from the Surface Book. So. Um, just because I like this form factor and I did get a good deal on this. I got it from Best Buy. I got the, uh, you get a 10% educational discount from them and they actually honored that. And this was cheaper on Amazon. So they price matched it. So I did get a really good deal on this. It was actually cheaper than what my i5 Surface Book was, which was only 128 gigabytes of storage. So, uh, no complaints there, but like I said, so far. I'm loving this. I'm loving the power. I was tempted to wait for the Surface Pro 5 to come out. However, um, talking to the guys at Microsoft and Best Buy and all the rumors online, the Surface Pro 5 is not going to be released until probably March at the earliest, probably spring of next year. And that's because of the KB Lake processor. The rumors are that Microsoft is actually waiting for all the... Uh, basically production to catch up with the KB Lake processor so they can include it in the next model, which I think is a good move for Microsoft because I would rather have the latest and greatest instead of just having, you know, pushing out a model that's got dated specs just for the sake of pushing out an updated model, Apple. Anyways, um, like I said, love this, highly recommend it. Um, when I initially got my Surface Book, it was fairly buggy just because it was a new product Windows 10 was new, and through future updates, by the time I had sold it here three weeks ago, uh, all the issues that I had were pretty much gone. And same thing with this, since this has actually been out a while, and Windows 10 has been out a while, 
So far, I've had no issues with this. Hasn't been buggy at all. So runs like it should, which is great. So with that, that was just a quick video on why I switched from the Surface Book to the Surface Pro 4. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm not really going to do a review of this just because it's been out for a year now, essentially. So <clears throat> the reviews are out there, but I'll just tell you that I love this device. I think it's great. Um, I do highly recommend it if you're in the market or you were thinking about getting this because Microsoft essentially weekly is doing deals on the Surface Pro 4. So with that, as always, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.